What's happening guys, it's Shane here and in today's video we are going over a highly requested topic and that is the easiest degrees that also pay really well. For some reason, this is a topic that has been requested over and over and over again. I've never gotten around to doing it on the channel, but today is the day we are gonna do it. Now, I wanna make one thing clear in this video. First of all, I'm not saying that you should go for an easy degree. You should take into account how difficult a degree is, but it's not one of the most important things. If you really enjoy something, you really like it, and it's the degree that you wanna go for, don't be afraid. You can do it. It's gonna take a lot of hard work, a lot of dedication, but at the end of the day, you can rise to the occasion and get the job done. Another thing I want to mention is a lot of the times people get really competitive and they get a little bit angry if you say that their degree is going to be easier than another person's degree. But let's be realistic here, guys. Everybody has their own strengths and their own weaknesses. For instance, one of the hardest classes I ever took was an English class. It was like an advanced English class and I wrote what I thought was a really good paper and I ended up getting a C on it. The highest grade that the professor gave anybody in the class for the first revision of that paper was a B. So I was actually one of the better paper writers in the class even though I only got a C. So I totally understand everybody is gonna have their strengths and their weaknesses and all that sort of thing. But realistically speaking, there is an objective way to evaluate these degrees to see how difficult they are. You can look at things like dropout rate, for instance. Now that doesn't tell the whole story because you know someone could drop out of a degree because they think it's boring or they think it's just really tedious. It's not necessarily how difficult the degree is. But the thing I'm gonna to use to evaluate how difficult these degrees are, just to keep things simple, is how much time you spend every single week studying. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. First one on the list is going to be marketing. Now, according to the tab.com, people who graduate with a marketing degree spent on average about 12.71 hours per week studying. And to put that into perspective, the degree where you spent the most time studying was actually architecture at 22.2 hours per week. And then the one that you spend the least time studying is parks, recreation, and leisure studies, uh, which is about 11 hours a week. And with a marketing degree, you can expect to make around $49,000 a year starting off and $91,000 dollars in mid-career pay. So you're going to notice there's a lot of business related degrees on this list and that's something that I've said many times on this channel. Just because business related degrees tend to be a little bit easier doesn't necessarily mean that they're bad choices. Now one thing I'll mention here is I think when it comes to business degrees they kind of are what you make of them. So if you want to be the type of student who doesn't really you know try all that much you're probably not going to get very much out of your business degree but if you're someone who really applies themselves you know you talk to the professors, you really go out of your way to learn the concepts, you'll probably get a lot more out of it. Next one on the list is gonna be another business degree and that's supply chain management. They study around 13.48 hours every single week and you can expect to make around $59,000 a year starting out and 95,000 in mid-career pay. So yeah, another really good one, supply chain management is one of those things that's extremely important, especially in the modern age. Being able to get a product from point A to point B from the, the factory to to the consumer in an extremely efficient way is incredibly important. Next one on the list is going to be finance and they study around 13.78 hours per week. With this degree, you would expect to make around $56,000 a year starting out and 99,800 in mid-career pay. Now with this one, depending on the school you go to, there's probably going to be more or less mathematics involved. The ones that are a little more math intensive, you're probably going to be studying more. But yeah, another really solid option, especially if you're someone who is, you know, very a type personality extremely competitive and you want to go for those really high paying jobs finance can be fantastic next one on the list is going to be international business and you're going to be studying about 13.9 hours per week with this degree you can expect to make around fifty two thousand dollars a year starting out and ninety eight thousand in mid-career pay this is one of those degrees that in my opinion is kind of a dark horse candidate i think when i did my business degree tier list i put this one in b tier um, it could be one that could potentially be like A tier or even S tier in the future. Business is getting more and more international. And I think especially if you're somebody who really wants to travel or maybe if you are someone who wants to live in a foreign country and you speak you know, that country's language and you understand their culture, this could be a fantastic option for you, but it does require a little bit of planning ahead. Next one on the list, we're gonna change it up a little bit. It's gonna be a technology related degree and that's gonna be information 
technology. They study around 14 hours per week. You can expect to make around $56,000 a year starting out and $93,000 in mid-career pay. So one thing about information technology, getting the degree definitely isn't a scam by any means. I think it's a fantastic degree to get. However, depending on what career you're going for, there's probably going to be some alternative options that are just as good, if not better. So a lot of the time you can actually just get a certification or go to some type of training program and get your foot in the door when it comes to IT. And then instead of going to school for four years, you can actually be working and getting paid for those four years, probably a little bit less than you would have right off the bat, you know, after you graduated. But by the time uh, those four years come around, you're going to be making just as much, if not more, as somebody who graduated with an IT degree. So this is relatively common with a lot of different technology related jobs where they judge you more on what you can do and what you can demonstrate, right? The skills that you can demonstrate than your credentials, like whether you have a degree or not. But still really solid option overall, not too difficult, especially if you're someone who's already uh, really tech savvy, this is just gonna be a walk in the park for you. Next one on the list is going to be economics, and this one is gonna be about 14.7 hours per week. Now with an economics degree, you can expect to make around $58,000 a year starting out and 109,000 in mid-career pay. This is gonna be another one that depending on what school you go to and the program that you're enrolled in, there's gonna be more or less mathematics involved in it, and if you're in a more math intensive program, there's probably going to be a lot more studying. But with that being said, economics can be a fantastic degree to get can be a little bit difficult to get your foot in the door, get that first job right after graduating college, but once you do get a few years of experience, you're gonna be good to go. Next one on the list is going to be accounting at about 14.7 hours of studying per week. This is probably gonna be the most difficult one on the list, but 14.7 hours is still manageable. And for that, you're gonna make around $51,000 a year starting out and 88,000 in mid-career pay. Accounting is one of the most solid careers out there. So many different options for you to work in accounting. Uh, there's just so many different career paths you can go down. So if you don't like uh, whatever career path you go down right away, there's just so many different avenues and routes that you can go down because it's an extremely flexible degree. So yeah, these are some of the majors that are relatively easy, not too difficult, and they still pay really well. Now, I just want to reiterate here, I understand everybody has their own strengths, all their own weaknesses. Uh, you know, everything is subjective. I totally understand that. You know, for one person, doing like an art major might be extremely difficult because they're just not artistic. They're not really uh, interested in that at all. But it very clearly shows if you're spending like, you know, 22 hours a week studying versus 11 hours a week studying, one of them is going to, you know, all things being equal, is going to be much more difficult than the other. And I can say from my own personal experience, I lived in a scholarship hall with like 50 guys and uh, you know the engineers were studying a lot okay they were studying all the time and the business majors were partying all the time okay that's just my experience but with that being said check out my other videos right here I made them just for you go ahead hit that like button hit the subscribe button ring the notification bell and comment down below any thoughts comments etc that you have on the video and I'll see you guys next time